Hello, good afternoon. Hello, Natalia and Marisa. I am waiting for you. Hello, Maritza, good afternoon. Hello. Okay, so are you ready, Maritza? Can't listen to you. Can you listen to me? Yes, I can listen to you. Okay, Maritza. So I'm waiting for Natalia. Mat Natalia has an answer my message. Maybe he has. She has a problem. Okay, so we are going to continue. We or we are going to start with the, the the activities for today. So today we are going to practice reading and grammar. So I'm going to show you a, a web page, and we are going to work on it. Okay. Hey, okay. Let me show you this the screen. Okay. Let's see, let me see. Okay. Well, I'm going to share this one. Okay. So this is the exercise. You're going to write the answers on the chat, or can you can you speak? Can you speak? Yes. Yes. Okay. So Maritza, uh, tell me the first the first answer. It says or the the sentence says, "My name." What is the answer? Is okay. Very good. I'm going to be to make it bigger. Okay, that's okay. So the, the first one is, my name is, okay? I'm going to write the answer, okay? The next, can you read the sentence, the, the full sentence, and then continue with the next answer? My name is, my name is I, I, I live 
Okay, I live, very good. I live in suburbs of the most people believe. Uh -huh, believe. Okay. We are rich. Yes, rich. Because he lives. Because we we live live uh -huh. in a big house with our uh -huh. Same. In this case, same is the correct because it's third person. La familia, it. Okay? Same to be like any other. Have a look. Okay? Continue. My, Maggie, my uh -huh. wife um, likes cooking. Yes, likes cooking. She enjoys begging in the kitchen. Enjoys being in the kitchen, uh -huh. At the moment, she makes a no, she is making. Uh -huh. She is making a cake. Uh, you can talk to her. Okay. Let me see, Natalia. Mm -mm. Okay, let me see. Let me, let me wait. Uh, Okay, so the next. What really, what really worry? Uh -huh. Worries in general. Here is your danger. Prefer. Uh -huh. Prefer the daughter thing. To shut in front of his computer instead of cooking with her. Like many teenagers. Teenagers. Many things. Okay. Think. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Thanks. Thanks. Yes. Ah, oh, it's clear. Jenny thinks. Uh huh. It. It is. It is. Uh huh. Easier to get a bit from someone. Bites. Uh huh. So when you. Later, this is the key word. Esta es la palabra clave. Con esta te vas a identificar. Bueno, vas a identificar el tiempo. Uh -huh. Más tarde o después. You are not to go. Uh -huh. You are not going. Uh -huh. You're not going to, okay, to see later. It's 5 p.m. Paul, my son, place. Place? Yeah. Okay. Basketball in the garden. And I watch. Really? Can I watch TV? I wait. I wait. Oh, I am waiting. Yeah. Tell me what is the correct? Mm. 
Wait. Wait. Mm -hmm. For this delicious That's Maggie. 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 Oops. Oops. Okay, let's check. There are some mistakes. Okay, this is correct. My name is Peter. I live in the suburbs of Boston with my family. Most of most people believe we are rich because we live in a big house. But our family seems to be like any other one. Have a look. Maggie, my wife, my wife likes cooking. She enjoys being in the kitchen with her friends. At the moment, she is making a cake and you can talk to her. You can talk to her. The, uh, what really worries her is our daughter who prefers to chat in front of the computer instead of cooking with her. Like many teenagers, Jenny thinks it's easier to get advice from someone you are not going to see later. It's 5 p.m. Son las 5 de la tarde. My song is playing, okay? Because it's five at the time, okay? En este momento, son las cinco, mi hijo está jugando. Basketball in the garden. And I am watching TV. I am waiting for, his, for this delicious cake that Maggie is cooking. I told you a family as yours, Peter. Okay? So when, when you have the time, cuando tienes la hora, entonces quiere decir que en ese momento está ocurriendo la situación o el, el, la historia, ¿no? Okay? Bueno, hasta aquí. 78 de 100. Bueno, no es malo. Okay? Okay, now let's do another exercise, okay, let's do another exercise, mm -hmm. no. okay, this one, Okay, this is a review of the simple present and the present continuous. Okay. I'm going to make it bigger. Lo voy a hacer más grande. Okay. Is that okay? Okay. So the first one, it says, I, you have three options. I am working, I work, or I works. Okay. I work. I work. Okay. Okay. The next. The next. Uh, she watches. She, she is the first one. La primera. She is. Yes. This one. La tercera. Okay. Yes. Okay. The next. Play. This one. La primera. Okay. The next. Speak. Okay. Okay, the next. Mm. 
What are you doing? Uh huh. Writing. Next, writing. Okay. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> The next? It's raining. Uh -huh. Next? They are wanting. Wanting? Out of way. Incorrect. Okay. Is sleeping. Next. Crying. Okay. Like. 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 Uh huh. Are playing. Okay. Next. Okay. The next. Brushes. Okay. Which one? La tercera. Okay. Visit. Uh, 
The next. Sí. This one, la tercera, yes. the third one. Oops. Okay. Okay, the next. I'm ready. Okay, I am reading. Okay, next. Ah, okay, that's all. Okay, you have 18. Okay, very good. Now, uh, okay, Natalia had a problem. Okay, so let's have another exercise. It's about okay, now it's listening. Okay, so we are going to listen a uh, conversation and then you are going to answer the three questions. There are three questions on the on this listening. Okay. Let's listen. Hi Mario. Wait, wait. Do you want to I'm going to share the screen? Okay. Hi, Mario. Do you want to go and watch a film? Hi, Tamara. Sure. What's on? Well, there are two action films, Mr. and Mrs. Jones and War Games, and they are both in 3D. I've already seen Mr. and Mrs. Jones. I haven't seen War Games, but I don't really want to see an action film. What else is on? There's that science fiction film, Robot 2075, but I've already seen it. Oh, is it good? Yes, it is, but I don't want to see it again. There's a romantic comedy called Forever. Mm, I'm not sure. Are there any horror films on? Yes, there's A Midnight Moon. It's got vampires in it. Oh, okay, sounds good. Let's go and watch Midnight Moon. What time is it on? It's on at 12 o'clock or at half past two. Hmm. Is it on this evening? Yes, at 7.30. Perfect. Let's go at 7.30. OK. Shall we meet at the cinema at 7 o'clock? Great. See you later. Bye. OK. So, this recording was brought to you by the British Council. To find others like it, visit... Okay. Maritza, which film are Mario and Tamara going to see? Maritza? Maritza, can you listen to me? Maritza? Sí, me which, film, which film are Mario and Tamara going to see? Mr. and Mrs. Jones, War Games, Robert 2075, King Robert uh, V, or Midnight Moon, or Forever. Do you want to listen again? Yes. Yes, okay. So let's listen again. www.britishcouncil.org 
forward slash. Hi Mario, do you want to? Hi Mario, do you want to go and watch a film? Hi Tamara, sure. What's on? Well, there are two action films, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, and War Games, and they are both in 3D. I've already seen Mr. and Mrs. Jones. I haven't seen War Games, but I don't really want to see an action film. What else is on? There's that science fiction film, Robot Twenty Seventy Five, but I've already seen it.、Oh, is it good? Yes, it is, but I don't want to see it again. There's a romantic comedy called Forever. I'm not sure. Are there any horror films on? Yes, there's a Midnight Moon. It's got vampires in it. <gasps> okay, sounds good. Let's go and watch Midnight Moon. What time is it on? It's on at twelve o'clock or at half past two. Hmm. Is it on this evening? Yes, at seven thirty. Perfect. Let's go at seven thirty. Okay, shall we meet at the cinema at seven o'clock? Great. See you later. Bye. This recording was brought、okay. to you by the British Council. To find out, do you have the answers? Yes. What is the film? La penúltima. Okay, midnight. Midnight. Moon, midnight moon. The next. What time does the film they want to see start? Seven thirty. Seven thirty. Okay. And what time are Mario and Tamara going to meet? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Okay. Finish. Okay. There you have the answer. That's correct. They are going to meet at seven, and the film is going to be at seven thirteen, and they are going to watch Midnight Moon. Okay. Okay. Let's check. There is another one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is another test. Okay, It's, they are short, son cortitos. Okay. This is a registration form. Okay, let's listen. Good morning, Brownton Swimming Pool. Hello. I'd like some information about the water polo club. Yes, of course. We have an under fourteens club. An under sixteens club, an under eighteens club, and an adults club. How old are you? I'm fifteen. Okay, so you want the under sixteens club?、Uh, yes. Just a moment. Yes, we have two places in the under sixteens club. When do they train? Ah,、uh, let's see. Ah,、uh, the under sixteens train two evenings a week on Mondays.、Uh, no, <laughs> sorry, on Tuesdays and Thursdays from six thirty to eight p.m. And matches are on Saturday mornings. When does the training start? Training starts next week on September the second. Ah,、um, okay. And how much are the classes? Classes are free for under eighteens. Oh, great! What do I have to do to join? 
You have to come to the swimming pool and complete a form. You need to bring a photograph too. Okay. Can I take your name? Yes, it's Tyrone Williams. Okay, thanks Tyrone. Thanks, bye. Okay. This recording was brought to you by the British Council. To okay, so this is the registration form. Uh, name is Tyrone. Surname? What is his surname? What is the surname or the last name? I don't know. No? Okay, let's listen again. Yes. Okay. Find others like it, visit www. Good morning, Brownton Swimming Pool. Hello. I'd like some information about the Water Polo Club. Yes, of course. We have an under 14s club, an under 16s club, an under 18s club, and an adults club. How old are you? I'm 15. Okay, so you want the under 16s club? Uh, yes. Just a moment. Yes, we have two places in the under 16s club. When do they train? Uh, let's see. Uh, the under 16s train two evenings a week on Mondays, uh, no, sorry, on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 30 to 8 pm. And matches are on Saturday mornings. When does the training start? Training starts next week on September the 2nd. Uh, okay. And how much are the classes? Classes are free for under 18s. Oh, great. What do I have to do to join? You have to come to the swimming pool and complete a form. You need to bring a photograph too. Okay. Can I take your name? Yes, it's Tyrone Williams. Okay, thanks Tyrone. Thanks, bye. Okay. This recording was brought to you by the British Council. To find the classes. Classes are free for under 18s. Oh, great. Okay, the surname is? Williams. Williams. Williams, uh huh, and the age? Um, 60. 16, okay. And the sport, interested? Um, Which one? See. Basketball, soccer. Tennis, no, 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 the, you, you, you don't remember? No, okay, no. let's listen. Let's, and how much are the classes start? Train to 8 pm, and matches are on Saturday mornings under 16's club. When do they train? Uh, like on 15. Oh. We have an under 14s club, an under 16s club, an under 18s club, and an adults club. How old are you? I'm 15. Okay, so you want the under 16s club? Uh, yes. Just a moment. Yes, we have two places in the under 16s club. When do they train? Uh, let's see. Uh, the under 16s train two evenings a week on Mondays. Uh, no, sorry, 
on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6.30 to 8pm. And matches are on Saturday mornings. When does the training start? Training starts next week on September the 2nd. Ah, uh, okay. And how much are the classes? Classes are free for under 18s. Oh, great. What do I have to do to join? You have to come to the swimming pool and complete a form. You need to bring a photograph too. Okay. Can I take your name? Yes, it's Tyrone Williams. Okay, thanks Tyrone. Thanks. Okay, what is the sport? No entendí si es tenis o swim. No. It starts with S. She says, she, she mentions the place. Menciona el lugar, pero no exactamente el deporte. When does the training start? Training starts next week on September the 2nd. Uh, okay. And how much are the classes? Classes are free for under 18s. Oh, great. What do I have to do to join? You have to come to the swimming pool. And okay, there is the place. No? She says swimming pool, swimming pool. Okay, so he is interested in swimming. Okay, the age, is it correct? No. No? How old is he? 13? Yes? No. No. 15? No. No? 16? Creo que tenías 50. No. A ver, acá. Ok, so you want the under 16s club. Ok, under 16. O sea, debajo de los, de los 16. ¿Ok? Son, son clubes para, para jóvenes. 14's club. 14's, 14's club. Para We los de 14. We have an under 14's club, an under 16's club, okay. an under 18's club. ¿Ok? Under 14's club, under 16's club, under 18's club. And an adult's club. How old are you? How old are you? On 15. On? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, let's check. Ah, swimming is incorrect. Okay, swimming. Maybe something wrong. Oh, water pool. <laughs> I was wrong. Okay, let's listen. Ah, okay, since the beginning. Good morning, Fountain Swimming Pool. Hello. I'd like some information about the water polo club. Ah, water yes, polo. Course. Water polo. Okay, so that's the mistake. Teníamos, ten, tenía el error también. Okay, yo escuché lo último. Okay, so let's let's stop here. We are going to work on a, um, another activity. Okay, let's check. So here we have. Well, I have something related to this. Okay, vamos a ver algo que está relacionado con lo que estamos trabajando. 
Okay, and this is the personal and physical appearance. Okay. Okay. So this is physical appearance, okay? Can you tell me some descriptions about the first picture, this one? How can you describe her, describe him? He's happy. Uh-huh, he's happy. Has short hair. Short hair. Okay, he has short hair. Okay. Black hair. Okay, black hair. Okay, the next, on the next picture, second picture. She is still thin and... And? Tall. Uh -huh. She has glasses. Uh -huh. She is wearing glasses or she wears glasses. She has short red hair. Okay, she has short red hair. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, the next, the man. He is short. He is short, okay. He? He has glasses. Uh-huh, he has glasses. He, he has a bird. Uh-huh, he has a bird. Okay. Okay. The next. She has. Long, long, long hair. Okay, she has long hair. Okay. Is she short or is she is, uh, tall? What do you think? He's she tall. tall. She's tall. Okay. So let's look at the next. Okay. For physical appearance, when we talk about physical appearance, there are six aspects. Okay. The first one is age. Okay. How how old are they? How old is the people? The the person. Okay. The height. How tall? How short? Okay, build, is she slim, fat, um, fit, okay. Hair, okay, about hair is if she has the long hair, short hair, red hair, brown hair, curly hair, wavy hair. The next. The eyes, blue eyes, brown eyes, big eyes, small eyes, okay? When, when we want to find out about someone's physical appearance, the question is, what is the question? Can you tell me the question? What look like? Uh -huh. What does a person look like? What does he or what does she like? Okay, that's the question. Okay, and uh, 
example, for example, what does Marcos look like? How is he physical? Physically, okay. For example, for age, okay. For example, in his twenties, okay. Remember, forties, okay. Forties, fourteens club, sixteens club, entre los catorce, los los catorce, okay. Este está entre los veinte, del veinte al veintinueve. In his twenties, okay. He is in his twenties. Él está en sus veintes. Okay. What does George look like? He is in his 20s. He is 22 years old. Okay. Age in her 30s. Okay. Ella está en sus 30s. What does Maria Mara look like? She is in her 30s. She is 32 years old. Ella tiene 32, está en sus 30s. Okay. Talk about age, we can use the expression teens, in his teens, en los 10, del, 10 al, del 11 al 19, o del 10 al 19, in his 20s, del 20 al 29, 30s, del 30 al 39, 40s, del 40 al 49, 50s, 50 al 59, 60s, 60 al 69, 70s, 70, del, sesen, del 70 al 79, aquí hay un error, ok, es al 79, ok, in her, in his, en sus de él, en sus de ella, ok, he is in his 30s, she is in her 40s, ok, ok, now it says we can also use the word early. For example, John is in his early 30s. Está en sus apenas 30s. Okay? Está en sus 30s, pero apenas empieza. Okay? We can also use the word mid. Okay? For example, Anne is in her mid 40s. Entre, entre los 40, eh, a, a mitad de los 40, puede ser 44, 45 o 46. Okay. Describing age. What does he look like? What does she look like? We could also use the word late. Okay. Ya pasando. Está en sus últimos. Bill is in his late 60s. En los últimos sete, sesentas, ¿ok? 67, 68 y 69. Ya está por llegar a los setentas. Entonces, ahí utilizamos la palabra late. Entonces, tenemos eh, early, sus primeros. Mid, a la mitad. Late, a los últimos. ¿Ok? What does he look like? What does she look like? ¿Ok? Okay, physical appearance for height. What do they look? Uh, what do they look like? Okay, he is what can we say? He is short. Short. She is tall. Tall. Okay, and he is. Tall. Mark is short. Lucy is average height. Okay. Está en la altura promedio. Okay. Ni tan alta ni tan bajita. Okay. But, of course, she is tall. Michael Jordan is tall. Okay. Build. What do they look like? Okay, she is. She is. Thin. Okay, or slim. Okay, in this case, skinny está más de lo delgada. Okay, echa un hueso. 
in skinny. The next. Anthony is slim, ¿ok? Está entre delgado, en delgado y este, pues no se pasa de delgado, ¿ok? Sino que está en su peso normal. And Paul is fat, ¿ok? Está pesado. Puede ser Paul is heavy, ¿ok? ¿Ok? Look at the difference. Okay. Leo is chubby. Chubby, gordito, rechonito. And Ronnie is muscular. Okay. Height and build. Okay. What does he look like? He's average height and slim. He's tall and fat. What does she look like? She is average height and slim. He is tall and muscular. About hair. We talk about hair, we have three characteristics. Okay, the first one, the length, okay, el largo, okay, style. And color, okay? They are, there are three characteristics, okay? She has... Short. Short hair. And this one? Bigger hair. And long. This is long, this is long, and this is short, okay? Let's look at the... The second, shoulder length hair, okay? Cabello hasta el hombro. She has shoulder length hair, okay? And she has long hair, okay? Short hair, shoulder length hair, okay? What do they like, okay? This is the style. How do you say Lazio? Straight. Straight and ondulado. Mm. The ondas. I don't remember. Okay, you don't remember. And this one? And curly hair. Curly hair. Okay, let's look. Straight hair. Okay, she has a straight hair. She has wavy, wavy hair on the lado. Okay, and this one is curly hair. Okay, that's the style. Okay, so that's the color. This one is blonde. blonde. And the second? Red. Red. And the third one? Brown. Brown or black, maybe? Okay. Blonde hair, she has blonde hair. She has red hair. And she has brown hair, that's correct. Okay can be brown or can be black, okay? Okay, he has, what color is it? Gray. Do you remember? Gray. Gray, okay, and this one? Um, Brown. Okay, let's sing. He has gray hair, that's correct. And he is bald, okay? Bald eagle, okay? Order of description, okay? And uh, to talk about hair, the sequence is length, 
style and color. Largo, estilo y el color. Okay? For example, what does he look like or what does she look like? She has long, straight, blonde hair. Ella tiene el cabello largo, lacio y rubio. Okay? Long is the length. Okay? Straight is the style. Okay? And blonde is the color. Okay? okay, the other option. She has short, wavy, blonde hair. Is it blonde? It's red. Okay, this is a mistake. Okay. She has shoulder length, straight brown hair. Okay, and that's the other option. Eyes. What about eyes? What do they look like? Okay, this is what color is it? Brown. Brown. This one? Blue. Blue and green. Green. Okay. Most of us have brown eyes. La mayoría de nosotros tenemos el color eh, marrón o este café. Okay. Hay un café claro. She has brown eyes. She has blue eyes. And she has green eyes. Okay. okay. Then we have H. Para la, la descripción, este es el orden. Age, height and build. Hair and eyes. Okay. What does Susana look like? Okay. She is in her 30s. Está en sus 30s. She is tall and slim. She has short, straight brown hair and green eyes. Okay. 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 Hasta ahí. Este, ¿tienes el, el workbook ya resuelto? De la unidad nueve. Ajá. Eh, Algunas. Okay. Revisamos lo que tengas. ¿De cuál página? Es que unas tienen audio. Ah, ok. Hacemos lo de los audios para que ya quede. Ok. Hacemos los audios, que es en la página. Page 39. Page 39. Mm. Okay, let's listen. Now, vamos a escuchar el audio. Unit 9, page okay. 30. Are you on page 39? Maritza? Are you on page 39? Yes. Okay, let's listen. It says, listen to the conversation and choose the correct words or phrases to complete the sentences. You have conversation one. Number one, it says, Stephen has two movie tickets for. Okay. Naomi can't go because she is. They decide to watch the movie. They are meeting at the movie theater at. Okay. This is similar to the one we listen. It's muy similar a la que ya escuchamos. Okay. Henry invites Jennifer to. Jennifer says no, so Henry invites her to. Jennifer is, and they decide to see each other on Thursday. Okay. Vamos a escuchar las dos conversaciones. 
y vamos a ir eh, seleccionando las respuestas. ¿Ok? Nine. Listening. Conversation one. Hi, Naomi. It's Steven. Oh, hi, Steven. What's up? I have two tickets for the new James Bond movie. It's on tomorrow night. Do you want to go? Okay, oh. number one. Tomorrow Steven night. has two movies. Okay, very good. Number one. James Bond movie. It's on tomorrow night. Do you want to go? Sorry, Steven. I'd love to, but I can't. I'm having a piano lesson tomorrow night. Okay. Naomi can't go because she is... Having a piano lesson. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. Well, what about Thursday night? Sure. Thursday's okay. Okay. What... So they decide to watch the movie. On Thursday night. Yes, that's correct. Time. It starts at 6.40, so how about meeting at the movie theater at half past six? How's that? Great. See you there. Okay. So they are meeting at the movie theater at? Six. Six forty. Uh -uh. Six forty. So how about meeting at the movie theater at half past six? At? Uh, half six. Half, half es la mitad pasado de las seis. Okay. Half past six. Okay. I'm going to write half past six. There you have half past six. So it's six. Six thirty. Okay. How's that? Great. See you there. Okay, so the answer is six thirty, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, then the next conversation. Conversation two. Hello? Jennifer, it's Henry Peters from your history class. Oh, Henry. All right. Hi. The thing is, I really like bowling, and I, well, would you like to go bowling with me one day next week? Um, well, I don't really like bowling, actually. Okay. Do you want to go out for dinner, then? Um, well, when? What are you doing tomorrow night? I'm playing volleyball. I always play on Tuesday evening. Oh. Well, what about Wednesday? I'm sorry, I can't. I'm busy on Wednesday. Oh, I see. But I'm not doing anything special on Thursday, so... Great! Thursday. See you outside the library at 7. Do you like Chinese food? Sure. Great. There's a great local restaurant I know. We can go there. Okay, so the first one. Go. It's Henry Peter. Okay, so Henry invites Jennifer to. Go bowling. Go bowling. Okay, that's number five. Number six. Jennifer says no. So Henry invites her to. Watch movie. Watch a movie. Okay, Jennifer is playing volleyball. Playing volleyball tomorrow night. They decide to see each other on Thursday. At local restaurant. No. Really? No. No. Let's listen. Oh, special on Thursday. So great. Thursday. See you outside the library at seven. See you. See you. So, great. Thursday. See 
see you outside the library. It's see you outside the library. Outside the library. Okay. And then they they want to go to the local restaurant. Seven. Do you like Chinese food? Sure. Great. There's a great local restaurant I know. There. We can go there. Okay. Pueden ir allá después del del de verse en la librería de la biblioteca. Okay. The next. Okay. The next audio, okay. Unit nine. Okay, it's about, uh, well, you are going to complete. It says, listen again and complete the sentence. Sorry, Steven, I, but I can't. Okay, so you are going to complete. Page 39, pronunciation. Ah. One. Okay, sorry, sorry, so the previous one. Unit 9, page 39, listening. Conversation 1. Hi, Naomi. It's Stephen. Oh, hi, Stephen. What's up? I have two tickets for the new James Bond movie. It's on tomorrow night. Do you want to go? Sorry, Stephen. I'd love to, but I can't. Okay. Sorry, Stephen. I'd yep. love to. I love to, but I can't. It's on tomorrow night. Do you want to go? Sorry, Stephen. I'd love to, but I can't. Okay, I'm having I'd a love piano. to, but I can't. Okay, the next. A lesson tomorrow night. Oh, dear. Well, what about Thursday night? Sure. Thursday's okay. What time? It starts at 6.40, so how about meeting at the... Okay. How... About. How about meeting at the movie theater at half past six? Okay. Number three. Movie theater at half past six. How's that? Great. See you there. Conversation two. Hello? Jennifer? It's Henry Peters here. From your history class? Oh, Henry. All right. Hi. The thing is, I really like bowling, and I, well, would you like to go bowling with me one day next week? Um, well, I don't really like bowling, actually. Okay. Do you want to go out for dinner, then? Um, well, when? What are you doing tomorrow night? Okay. Uh Number three. What are you doing tomorrow night? Yes, what are you doing tomorrow night? I'm playing volleyball. I always play on Tuesday evenings. Oh, well, what about Wednesday? I'm sorry, I can't. I'm busy on Wednesday. I am? I'm sorry, I can't. I am? Busy? Busy, okay, that's busy. Busy, pero se pronuncia busy. Okay. I am busy on Wednesday. Well, what about Wednesday? I'm sorry, I can't. I'm busy on Wednesday. Oh, I see. But I'm not doing anything special on Thursday. So okay, I'm not doing anything special. Yes, that's correct. So, okay. great, Thursday. See you. Okay. The next, the next audio is to identify. Okay. It says, listen and choose the words or phrases you hear. Las que tu escuches. Number one, 715 and 715. Tuesday and Thursday. Okay. Let's listen. Unit nine, page 39. Pronunciation. One. Let's meet at 7.15 tonight. Two. Okay, number one is? 7.15. 7.15. Okay, or 15. Meet 
at 7.15 tonight. 7.15. Okay, the second one. Okay, la segunda, eh? Okay. The next, number two. Two. I'm playing tennis on Tuesday. Okay. When? Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh -huh. Tuesday. Okay. Three. We're having an exam at seven tomorrow. Okay. Seven. Okay. That's good. Four. I'm going on vacation on the 4th of January. Okay. January 4th. January 4th. Okay. Esto también se puede leer al revés. 4th of January. Okay. El 4 de enero. Or January 4th. A ticket for the concert costs $36. Okay. Number five. Number five. 36. 36. 30, 30 or 30. 36. 36. A ticket for the concert costs $36. $36. Number six. Six. We're going out for dinner next Sunday. Okay. Number six. Sunday. Sunday. Seven. It's Friday the 13th tomorrow. Okay. Friday the 13th. The first one or the second? Mm. La que tiene número o la que no tiene número? La que tiene número. A ver. Seven. It's Friday the 13th tomorrow. Friday the 13th. Seven. It's Friday the 13th tomorrow. Okay, the 13th. Porque la otra es the 30th. The 30th. Seven. It's Friday the 13th tomorrow. 13. Eight. Eight. The bus fare is $3.90. Okay. Three ninety or three nineteen? Ninety. Uh -huh. The first one. La primera. Yes. Okay. Okay. So let's go to page. Let me see. Page nine. Page page nine. Page sixty. Página 60, page 60. Okay, now it says, choose the correct words or phrases to complete the sentences. Test A and test B. See? Sí. Okay, so it says, number one, you're going to read the, the question or the sentences and the answer, just the, to complete the answer. Number one, tell me the number one. What are you doing after lunch? Yes, that's correct. Letter D. Number two. Would you like to watch a movie this evening? Would you like to watch a movie this evening? Letter C. Number three. 
Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Are you coming to the party tonight? Yes, I am. That's letter A. Okay, number four. When are you playing tennis? Tomorrow afternoon. Yes, that's correct. Let us see. Number five. What are you doing tomorrow? I am going to visit my parents. I am going, no, that's not correct. I am going to a ball game. Yes, that's correct. Letter D. I am going to. Always going with to. Siempre vamos a relacionar el going con el to. Nunca se van a, a, a separar. ¿Ok? Esa es la, for, la estructura que es going to. ¿Ok? Que es el futuro. ¿Ok? Eso hay que se, este, subrayarlo, señalarlo. ¿Ok? Going to. ¿Ok? The next number eh, six. When you go out tonight? No, that's not correct. Um, when are you going to out? Yes, that's correct. When are you going out tonight? ¿A qué hora vas a salir? Okay. Number seven. Do you want to go and Indian yes, do you want to go to an Indian restaurant? Let us see. Number eight. Sophie is visiting her parents next weekend. Okay, Sophie's visiting her parents next weekend. Letter D. Number nine. How about Remember the audio? ¿Recuerdas el audio que escuchamos hace ratito? ¿O cuál completaste? Antes de ING. Antes de... Okay. Después de about. How about? To have. No. Regrésate al, a la página 39. Y te darás cuenta cuál es la... Cuál es la respuesta que pusiste en la número 2 de la segunda parte del audio. It says, it starts at 640, how about, y qué verbo sigue, cómo sigue. Uh, how about having. Having, that's correct. How about having a party to celebrate your birthday. Después de how about, el verbo que sigue tiene que ir con ING. ¿Sí? Number 10. We're visiting relatives. Uh, we are visiting relatives on the weekend. On the weekend or at weekend also, it's at correct. At weekend or on the weekend. Okay, can be. Cualquiera de las dos es correcta. 
¿Okay? Una es en inglés americano y la otra es en inglés británico. ¿Ok? Cualquiera de las dos. Ok. So the next, um, in this case, you are going to use on the weekend. ¿Ok? Uh, the next, number one, James going to the concert tomorrow. What is the correct option? A, B, C, or D? A. A, is James going to the concert tomorrow? Number two. Can you read the sentence and the answer? Lee la oración y pon la, la respuesta. We are taking an exam on Monday morning. Yes, that's correct. Number three. I think seeing and take are playing golf tomorrow. Yes, that's correct. Number four. Do you want to come over for coffee tomorrow? Sorry, but I... I can't. Remember, I can't, yes. Sorry, but I can't. Esa es una expresión. Lo siento, pero no puedo. Okay. I'm sorry, but I can't. Number five. Tonight, I, I stay in home uh -huh. because I want to relax. Yes, I'm staying at home or I'm staying home because I want to relax. Number six. Are you an... Are we going out tonight? No. They aren't. They aren't. Yes, that's correct. Number seven. When are you having a um, barbecue? Barbecue. Yes. When are you having a barbecue? Yes, that's correct. Number eight. Are we meeting at four o'clock? Yes. Are we meeting at four o'clock? Number nine. Are you free on Monday? No, I'm sorry. Mm. No, sorry. What about Tuesday? What about Tuesday? What about, okay? Esa es otra expresión de what about. Eh, ¿Qué te parece? Or how about, okay? Como ves, number 10. Would you like to have dinner tonight? Yes. I'd love to. I love to, yes, I love to. Ahí se acaba la respuesta. Okay. So, uh, do you, if you finish, if you finish your homework, your workbook, okay? Can you send me page... Number 36, 37, and 38. Okay. ¿Me podrías mandar captura de pantalla de esas tres páginas? ¿Sí las tienes? Me faltan algunas. Me falta... Sí, me faltan una. Ok, me falta una. Ok. So... Ahorita se las pueden ver. Sí, 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 sí. Este, bueno, entonces aquí la dejamos y ve revisando la unidad 10. La unidad 10 de tu libro. En okay. Unit 10, we are going to start with the simple past. Okay. Empezaremos a ver lo que es el pasado simple. Es el. Es donde. El libro de los estudiantes. Ok, vamos a ver en este caso. Está cargando mi libro. Ok. ¿Pasado simple? Este sí, sí, sí. Ok, vamos a ver, vamos a ver si es el pasado simple. Page 60. 
Ah, ya. Ok, ya vamos a empezar con el pasado simple. Entonces, aquí vamos a hablar de las vacaciones, ok, different kinds of vacations, simple past, affirmative and negative time expressions, ok, location, items and activities. Ok, para esto necesitamos una lista de verbos. Ahora sí, si sí, tienes por ahí una lista de verbos, si no, yo te comparto una. Tengo para una. que, ah, ok, para que ya los vayas revisando. Ok, y si es, eh, lo mejor sería que ya te los fueras aprendiendo. Empieza por los básicos, ¿eh? por ejemplo, being, was, where y el being. Ahí tenemos tres formas del, del verbo, que son las, las este, que se usan en inglés, que es el presente o el infinitivo, luego el pasado simple y luego el pasado participio. Es importante aprenderse las tres porque este, para que sea más fácil. Por ejemplo, go, went, gone. Be, been, eh, be, eh, was, were, been. Eh, watch, por ejemplo, hay verbos regulares y hay verbos, verbos irregulares. Entonces, ahí es lo que vamos a, vamos a revisar, ¿ok? Sí. Entonces, sí, es importante que te vayas aprendiendo los, los verbos. Sí, sí, ¿Okay? que había visto en la escuela. ¿Cómo? De hecho, apenas los estaba viendo en la escuela. Ah, ok, ok. Ah, pues mira, qué bueno que lo, este, que ya lo están trabajando. Entonces vamos a, vamos a ver cómo formular el, el pasado simple. En este caso, este. Es, ah, sí, estos son los regulares. Estos son los regulares. Los, este, irregulares. Este. Cambia su estructura, no son las mismas. Sí. Ok. Bueno, entonces aquí le dejamos. Este, me mandas la captura de pantalla de tus de tu página, de tu unidad 9, 36, 37, 38. Y ya la reviso. ¿Vale? Ok. ¿Alguna duda hasta aquí? ¿Comentario? ¿Sugerencia? No. Ok. Si en alguna, alguna este, actividad te puedo ayudar, por ejemplo, de la escuela, pues ya me dices con tiempo y lo revisamos. Sí, sí. Gracias. Ok. Ok. Bye. See you. See you in the next Saturday. Bye.